Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the Lighthouse Audit uh, using the Playwright. So we are going to do the integration. It's going to be very simple. So I'm not going to give you a like code by code. Rather, I will just give you a walkthrough. So first of all, go to your package.json file and there uh, we have to install the Lighthouse and then the Playwright-Lighthouse package okay both the package are mandatory and i'm using the latest version of playwright that is 1.28.1 okay so uh, once this is done you can go to any of your test so i have written a new test called unauth test.es so we can audit the pages both on unauthenticated as well as authenticated pages so we are using the fixture but we are not using the page object directly rather we are using this playwright okay the reason is simple when we do the audit it will open a new tab and there it will collect all the matrices so for that we have to use this like remote debugging which we'll get from the launch functions we cannot do that with the help of uh, page directly so here we are going to create like playwright dot chromium dot launch and we will pass this this port number this port number can be anything but whatever we are going to provide here that should be same as here okay and that will this chromium dot launch will return the browser object from there we can create the new context and using the context we can create the new page and then we can just go to the url and then we have this play audit which is coming from your play right dash lighthouse package so here first of all we have to mention this result the result in the sense like uh it's kind of like here we are saying like the performance should be like 50 or more so uh, similarly we have accessibility best practices seo and progressive web app okay so by default the result value are 100 that means it it will expect all the values to be 100 but we can specify as per our configuration okay so if the performance let's say that we are going to audit uh, this particular page and so if you go to the inspect if you go to the um, lighthouse so lighthouse is like inbuilt in your chromium browser i am using this brave browser but it is same for your any of the chromium based browser and by default it will always execute in the mobile we can switch to like desktop or you can go with both and then we have the categories so when we click on this analyze space it will just generate the lighthouse report right so it will give you some numbers like 0 to 100 if it's like let's say the performance is going to be 70 then it's fine if it's going to be less than 70 so when we do the audit if it's less than 70 or like less than 50 it will fail the test so if you don't want to fail the test and you just want to continue you can use this ignore error property which will like even though the scores are less than the expected it will not throw us any error it will just continue and here we are giving the port which is this one okay so it can be like any number any four digit and you have to give the same then here we have to pass our page reference and that's it the last one is the report how you want to execute your report so there are three formats one is the html other than that we also have like csv and like here you can select csv then you can just give the boolean like true or false and last one is the json okay so let me make it like false so you'll get html csv and json mostly we use uh, html so i'm just going to remove this for now okay and then we have to give the uh, report name so it will be like lighthouse report or whatever it is and then we have to give the directory so the folder folder we don't have to create it will create in the runtime so here i'm saying like lighthouse report and then followed by the timestamp because like if you execute multiple tests then timestamp will help us to create multiple folders or else you can use the directory same directly directory and you can just change the html file name which is also fine okay so this is also fine yeah then of course we have created the object so we have to close all the objects okay so that's it very simple so 
if I go and run this now, so if I go to my playwright.config.ts file, you can see like within the test match, I have this lighthouse unauth test.ts. Okay. Then if I go and say like npm test, So here you can say like it opened a new browser which is the lighthouse audit browser uh, so by default it will run actually in the uh, like mobile emulation it will work along with the mobile emulation so it will try to resize the window and do some uh, matrices or matrices then here you can say like we got some uh, data like it says like accessibility record is 81 and desired result is 50 so that means it's passed if it's uh, less than that then definitely it will throw us error but since we have this there won't be any error okay um yeah so that is the one thing now it executed and also we can see the report so if i go to this lighthouse report here you can see like we got the folder let me go inside this one and within this we have this lighthouse report dash the timestamp so if i open this here you can see the actual result the performance is really bad uh, because this website is not uh, for mobile it's for desktop okay so here the performance you can see the accessibility the best practices seo and pwa is pro progressive web app so that is not supported by this website okay and here you can see like first content full paint time to interact something something on all the other details okay mostly we don't do anything with this numbers as a tester but we have to give this lighthouse report to the devs so that they can improve the website load performance the accessibilities uh, the seo seo is basically used to uh, check the ranking in the google pages so like um if here you can see like robot.txt is not valid that means the page might not be loaded or ranked ranked in the google properly okay so like this we have few things and you can see big best practices like um there is some issue with the aspect ratio but yeah nothing to worry this is not our website okay fine so if you want to run only for like uh mobile version or the I mean the desktop version or the mobile version you can do that so here we have something like um config uh, this is customized config uh, other than that also we have something like the default config from lighthouse so here you can select lighthouse desktop config which we imported from lighthouse lighthouse core and this is basically the desktop configuration so how to use that is very simple within the audit function you can say like config and then you can give like your lighthouse desktop config now if i run this this will execute um only for the desktop version it will ignore the mobile version so here you can select this is the second uh, lighthouse tab where it's running in the desktop version not the mobile emulation that it performed previous exec in previous execution right so that's it we got the report so now i think the report is far better let's go and check the report one more time so this is the new file let's go and open this so here you can see the performance is 67 previously it was like 21 i guess uh, 26 okay so the website is uh, somewhat better in desktop view so here you can select the whole page in desktop view and this is how it will look in the mobile application okay mobile application in the sense like in mobile browser okay so that's it cool now uh when we run this if you want to see any logs we can use this like um uh, option and you can pass the options and this option is nothing but a object where we have like log level equal to info this is this config is actually customized config like we can say like what we want to check 
like every time it will go and take the performance accessibility best practice seo and progressive web app but let's say that i am interested only on the accessibility or maybe like performance then we can use this customized config but unfortunately it's not working i tried with this maybe something wrong with the configuration or maybe with the playwright lighthouse package itself i will just create a uh, bug in this and if i get any solution i will update in the first command so do check that out okay and coming back to the next topic uh if you want to run the same test i mean yeah same test for multiple urls you can do that so this is the same parameterized concept in playwright we can create the arrays of url and then we can say like urls dot for each we'll get a url and make sure you are going to append that url to your test name or else it will say like duplicate steps i mean i mean duplicate test found okay so let's go and run this as well and check so i'm going to clear it up and let's create a new folder like this is going to be only for my desktop things let's go and execute this So in the right hand side in the console you can see like some uh, thing like a let status that is lighthouse status uh, this is basically the log that we added now so here we have like uh, log of info okay so you can check this things so it's running the second test now Okay, so all the four tests completed so if you go to the new folder that is desktop and here you can see all the uh, reports so we got all the reports okay so that's it this is how we have to uh, run our uh, test for multiple scenarios okay so this is for your unauthenticated if you want to do the same in authenticated that's also going to be very simple before that we can run the test in headless as well so you can use like test.use headless equal to true so like uh, you'll get the same report you'll get everything same but it will run in the headless mode okay if you want you can do that as well now coming back to the authenticated state i mean test it's going to be very simple the same concept only thing is like before uh you can we can do this in two ways so one is using like like test dot uh, use and we have the option like storage state that i personally use in my project uh, because we have like google authentication at the login and we just use the storage state using the cookies it will do the login okay and another way is of course using your like the same regular page object model code code this one like you can enter a username do the uh, login successful once logins login is done you can uh, audit your page and uh, that's it then you can do log out whatever you want to do okay so only thing you have to remember is this one so instead of directly using the page in your page object model i mean the page from play right you have to do the same thing like you have to use the chromium.launch and to do, do, do pass this page in all your constructs construction i mean constructor and uh, that's it and at the last you can just close the objects okay so even if you don't close it will work actually but it is good practice to do the close or else it will just take it from the after hook so let's go to the config file and i'm going to enable this test now and let's go and run this for confirmation it's going to the login page it did the login then it's going to do the audit once the audit is done it's going to do the logout as well so that's a very simple thing playwright uh, lighthouse if you know what is lighthouse and how to use it then of course this will be really helpful if you do not know anything about lighthouse i will recommend you to read some docs on that that will really help you okay so that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply 
Tata bye bye see you in the next one very soon